So, today's focus is on the idea of medical overwhelm and just honoring how much information there is and how easy it is to get lost down these wormholes these days where we want to feel better, we want to heal, so we might get maybe hyper obsessed with trying to find the answers and we have so many people telling us what to do, what not to do. If you're one of those people that have seen so many different doctors and naturopaths and maybe you have a binder of lab tests and stool tests and you're maybe collecting supplements, drawerfuls of supplements, boxes, thousands of dollars of supplements at this point, I want to make this video for you because I've been there and I know what it feels like to kind of hit your breaking point when you are seeing so many different people and you're bombarded with, bombarded with different ways of healing. It gets overwhelming and stressful, especially when it starts to seep into our fear of food and our even our fear of our own body feeling like we don't know how to support it. We don't know how to heal it. So this tapping is for you, hopefully, to calm some of that chaos and slow down the intensity of feeling like you need to fix your body or heal it right now. Because as we know, and as I'm always talking about, just that idea that something's wrong with you and that you have to hurry up and fix it right away, that in and of itself is so stressful. We want to bring the body to a place where it feels safe to rest, and that's really when the healing starts to happen, especially in the delicate tissues all along the intestine, the delicate tissues of the ovaries, and even at the delicate tissues of the thymus gland under stress that seems to really break down. Cortisol likes to very wisely break down our sensitive tissues to free up energy, but we want to support the body, and sometimes that means doing less. So let me ground myself for a second and just start with a deep breath wherever you are. See if you can relax your belly to start. And again, this is a tapping session just to see if we can help the body calm down with the overwhelm. So when you're ready, starting on the pressure points in the hands. So I've been feeling really overwhelmed with my health. I'm noticing how stressed out I've been feeling. And I'm starting to feel hopeless. Even with all of these stories about what to do, what not to do, how I need to focus on my gut, how I need to focus on my thyroid, how I feel like there's something in me that's broken. I'm ready to release the idea that I need to hurry up and fix myself. And even though it's felt impossible to relax, when everyone seems to be preaching something different, I'm choosing to relax right now. And even though I find myself living in a state of constant panic and anxiety, overwhelmed with these lab tests, overwhelmed with which supplement to take, and pretty frustrated that I feel like shit most of the time. I honor that. I honor where I'm at. I honor how overwhelming it's been. And I'm choosing to slow myself down. 
because I am so freaking overwhelmed at all of these ideas. First, they tell me nuts are good for me to only drink almond milk. Now everyone's talking about raw milk, how I should avoid PUFAs, how I need to get to the bottom of this iron overload, how I need to hurry up and eat within 30 minutes of waking up. And if I go longer than three hours, I might be hurting my thyroid. All of these ideas that seem to conflict one another. I'm overwhelmed. I don't really know who to trust anymore. I feel like I can't even trust my own body. I don't even know if I can slow down enough to feel safe in this body when it can't even do basic things. And I'm tired of being so tired, switching up my supplements, feeling like I should feel better by now, but I don't. So I release and let this go. I accept that I'm overwhelmed. I accept that there might be too many cooks in the kitchen. And I'm done spending so much time researching, scrolling through Instagram, only to be more confused. Should I take vitamin E? Should I be loading up on systemic enzymes? Do I need to take grains out of my diet completely? Is it the fiber? I'm wondering if I should go back to the low FODMAP diet. I'm wondering if I need to go back on carnivore to reset. I'm wondering if it's a willpower thing because even though I've been eating this way, I'm still noticing I have weird symptoms. I acknowledge that I'm overwhelmed and I'm choosing to soften. I'm choosing to slow myself down and I'm choosing to honor the fact that even though I'm overwhelmed, I'm going to choose to heal in a way that's sustainable for me. Because I know it's easy to get overwhelmed, especially on Instagram. The conflicting views about what I should or should not do. I choose to release and let these go. Because if I imagine that I might be working on my health for the next 10 years, I want to live them differently. I want to feel relaxed in my body. I want to feel vital and energized. I don't want to spend so much time thinking about food and stool tests and parasites and detoxing estrogen because I want to get back to living my life and I'm choosing to trust that the more I relax the more I slow down and breathe the more I let all of these ideas start to soften. I choose to trust myself because I know everyone has their idea. 
about the perfect pro-metabolic diet, about the perfect time to eat, and I'm overwhelmed. So I am intentionally choosing to relax. I'm choosing to heal on my own terms, taking what feels helpful and releasing what does not. And I know I feel better when I step away from Instagram for a bit. I feel better when I check in and ask myself, what would truly feel healing? Leaving food in the background for a second. I ask myself, what would feel kind? What would feel simple? And sometimes I'm surprised by the answer because oftentimes I just need a hug. I just need to shake it out. I just need to let myself curl up with a good movie because I'm ready to feel calm. I'm ready to feel peaceful and I'm ready to learn to feel safe in this body while I work on my health in ways that feel peaceful. I'm ready to feel calm and I'm ready to take a break from this constant need to fix, from this constant need to detox. I'm ready to enjoy my life right now so in the smallest of ways, I'm going to choose to smile. I'm going to choose to breathe into my belly. I'm going to choose to trust my body so that every time I get overwhelmed, I take it as a sign to breathe, to slow myself down, to come back to myself, to remember that I can be my own expert. I do live in this body. To remember that healing can be simple, that something as simple as a glass of orange juice can rev up my engines, can remind me that things can be delightful and delicious, that I get to experiment, that one step at a time, I can be curious, that one step at a time, I can trust myself. I release the overwhelm and I choose to relax and soften. And just like always, give the pressure points in your wrist a deep squeeze and take a deep breath in, holding at the top. Take in even more air. And at the very last second, release as slowly as possible through the nose while you release the grip. So curious what came up for you there. I know there are different stories along the spectrum of feeling completely overwhelmed by doctors and healers and Instagram and researching and all of the different viewpoints, even on something as simple as whether to take vitamin D or not. And I want to honor that and remind you that 
yes, while it's overwhelming to be bombarded with these ideas, it's up to us to start with the foundation of learning to self-soothe and learning when to trust ourselves and to scale back because this healing process should not be adding more stress to an already stressed body. And if anything, I hope that just coming back to a place where you do start to slow down that panic and that need to fix can start to give you a glimpse of the healing that just inherently happens when we do slow ourselves down. So if there are specific videos on tapping specific themes that are coming up for you, please let me know. I love to hear what people are working on because the more specific I can get, the more helpful it can be when I'm coming up with these tapping videos. So anyways, hopefully this shifts something. If not, no worries. Just put it out there with someone else's idea yet again. This is all about trusting yourself. So I'll leave it at that for today, but I'll see you next week. This is Scrub Jace. We've got some planks, some learning, we've got some videos, some slippers.